Welcome back to Wicked Auto. So I know it's been a bit. I haven't done anything to the truck. That's why. To me, this truck is perfect, except for the few minor things I did. So this is a review on how long I've had it. Have I had any problems? Um, have I had to take it into the dealer? Do I have another lemon, like the Ford? Um, so for anybody that you know chooses to just skip ahead, no, it's not a lemon, obviously. I still have it sitting in my driveway. So we're gonna go over the truck, any issues I have had, and all the mods that I have done to the truck for any issues with those. So everybody asking for uh, any issues with the cab lights, this is your video, stay tuned. So let's get into it. So for anybody that's just tuning in for this video, this is a 2022 GMC 1500 AT4X. I got this uh, September 29th, 30th, October 1st, one of those days in 2022. So it is almost coming up on two years and I will start this video off saying I love this truck as much as I did day one, still today. Um, so first let's go over the, sorry, Amazon. Let's go over the mods uh, level, which I just got the rough country one. That was all that was available at the time. Almost two years, 26,000 miles later, still good to go. Um, these are, I don't even remember what the hell the rims or tires are. There's a video on it. I'll link it up in the corner if you want to watch that video. But I did want to do, because I don't think I did in the video, uh, for anybody that's wondering. So this is on a slant. Okay, this is on a slant. But from tire to fender, if you see it is sitting at, oh, let's go with 40 and three quarters in the front. Let's go with 41 in the rear. So again, I'll link the wheel and tire video in the corner for anybody that wanted to see it. And like I said, I had the rough, in, rough country AT4X level for the front. Um, so now you know the measurements and what you're looking at. Uh, the, we'll say the 35s, I had to do a lot of trimming in the front. I had to trim the corner here. As you can see, I had to trim the felt quite a bit, front and back. I did have to do a lot of trimming here on the mud flap. Focus, there we go. Um, so I didn't want to pay the 200 freaking dollars just for that little end cap piece right here. So I just trimmed the shit out of mine. And like I said, almost two years, 26,000 miles later, still going good. Uh, now I will say, so like I said, my driveway is slanted. If the truck was turned around and I'm pulling out and I'm doing it at a decent rate of speed, let's say 10 miles an hour, that little dip right where the road and the driveway meet, I will rub. Happens every time in parking lots, you know, whatever store it may be. Uh, Plasti dip, the front to get rid of the red and the rear. That is still, I haven't touched anything up. Still good to go. The little spots you see are bugs because I haven't washed this thing because it's been hot as shit here, bright and sunny. So it doesn't give me a chance to wash and coat it myself. Gotta wait for a cloudy day. Um, uh, then of course the front, uh, the bug shield. Um, that video is also on the playlist. All you have to do is go for the 2022 AT4X playlist on my channel and you can see all the videos that I've done on this truck. This, still no issues with this working functionally. I did have to replace the 3M on here from this side, probably to about here. So roughly 14 to 16 inches that I had to replace. I'm going to chalk that up to me washing it uh, because like the rest of it's fine. Same three, same eight strip of 3M the whole way across. So like I said, I think that's just me washing it. Um, uh, did as you did see on the side, I did debadge the sides on both sides. Um, just thought it was cleaner. Uh, if you guys have been following along, you know that I wrecked this truck on the driver's side after three months of ownership. <laughs> uh, so they fixed that, and of course, dicking around still with all of the COVID excuses, they had to wait. Now, they already had the truck a month, two months, something like that, and they still couldn't get the emblems in, so whatever. I actually liked it clean, so I just went ahead and took this side off. Now, I did also end up doing the AT4X on this side in Plasti Dip. 
Uh, does look like I need to touch up right there on the very point. Um, I did that probably a year ago, so I guess I didn't do that as thick as the front or rear because they're still good to go. Um, the AWE exhaust, still on there, still absolutely loving it. The neighbors still hate it first thing in the morning <laughs> when it's cold out. Um, the tonneau cover, no issues with that. I love the damn thing. Uh, like today, it's about 90-ish, I think. And so that thing is hot as shit. I ain't touching it. But it is absolutely nice. It does. So we've taken a couple trips with the truck and bed was full. Did have a little uh, liquid rain. Uh, of course, rain is liquid. I'm just specifying for the smart asses out there that it was rain. No, no, I wasn't pressure washing it. Uh, in here, right at the end, and then in the corners, but nothing got, a virus got wet. Like our suitcases and stuff like that, it didn't go through the suitcase. It was not enough water for that. Um, I did tint the uh, third brake light. Uh, Amazon just tinted it myself. Did not do a great job on it. Can't tell from here if you can great bird eyes but it, it i'm not happy with it but i'm not gonna keep digging with it uh the shit rain guards for the windows they are from gmc themselves the matte black uh stick on they i mean i love the shields themselves but the 3m it comes with is absolutely garbage i've had to redo this piece here on the front driver i think three times i've had to redo the rear passenger twice um the hood fake hood scoop uh still love it uh as you can see no issues no chips marks scratches nothing that little piece right there on the black is a spider web because again i haven't washed it still looks perfect no flapping no loosening absolutely nothing uh for anybody that has a question about that um i love the damn thing now i will say it does shake the hood a lot um especially if you're going 80 down the highway and you have a horrible crosswind like we always do here in oklahoma the hood shakes but i had that on for almost a year and a half and again no issues so I mean, it doesn't make any noise it just you can see the hood shaking so it's up to you whether you deal with it or not I will say, after I coat the truck, of course, have any kind of liquid just blows right off the truck, right? It's the easiest way to dry the truck. I cannot do that with the windshield now. So because of how I'm assuming the bug shield and this, both together at least, it does not blow right off the windshield anymore. Uh, so that's just something to keep in mind. You don't get the perfect airflow that you once did. Now the cab lights. So I get questions on that video all the time. So this is the big one. The cab lights, I still love the look of them, they, but to me, they are an extremely expensive ornament. Shouldn't have bought them. Let me say that. Um, so they do work now, but they did not for six to eight months. So they worked like here and there a couple times and I messaged the Cab Over America company and they were responsive. Their customer service was pretty good. Um, so I will give them that, but the lights themselves, especially the first set, the first set was garbage. They never would charge, uh, never, and at least they wouldn't hold a charge to be able to turn them on. Um, the remotes would here and there work then they didn't work for months. And randomly we took a trip from here back to Pennsylvania and they randomly turned on once we got to Pennsylvania. Now it was freezing there, it was. But temperature change should not have anything to do with those turning on considering nobody pushed the button to turn them on. Uh, they turned on and then when I grabbed the remote to turn them off, they, it still didn't work. And not all of them turned on. I think only two or three did. Um, so I messaged, the, finally had enough, messaged the company, hey, you know, because they do have a one year warranty, which I was thankful for. Uh, the charge time, let me go over that first before we get into the rest of it. The charge time per the company when I complained, 
that they didn't hold a charge. Oh, they need to sit out in direct sunlight for four, uh, 48 hours. And it needs to be actually 48 hours, not, oh, it's two days sitting in the sun. No, every hour of sitting in the sun. So you get 12 hours of sun where you live, it's gonna take four days to get 48 hours of the sun, which I think is horseshit. I mean, at that charge, so 48 hours of sun, these should stay on at least eight hours, right? Like that's just absurd to me, especially for the cost. It really pissed me off. I shouldn't, um, that, anyway. Before a year was up, I, no, I'm done. I need a new set. So they sent me a new set and they right off the bat didn't work. So I assumed it was not those, which I was correct. Uh, it was the remotes. Somehow the remotes also went bad. So they sent me out two new remotes and they worked. Uh, I only use them obviously when it's dark. There's no point in riding around with them in the day. When it's dark, when it's storming, something like that, which working from home, I don't do a whole lot. So I've only had them on probably two or three times since they sent me a new set uh, months, months ago. So take it as a grain of salt, but very expensive ornament in my opinion. Onto the truck. Like I said in the beginning of this video, I love it today just as much as I did the day I bought it. This is going to be the truck I keep. I'm, as of right now, I've already had it almost two years. I'm gonna keep it at least another two to three. Um, you can see on the inside, it still looks brand new because I take care of my stuff, right? Like there's always gonna be smart asses and people in the comments anywhere online, any kind of social media. Uh, why do you clean your truck, detail your truck? Um, why do anything like that? It's a truck, okay? Because I take care of my shit. This is a very expensive truck and I love this truck and I'm gonna take care of it. Um, I detail the inside at least once a month. The outside, like I said, I've been slacking. Usually that's at least once a month, once a month as well. Uh, it's just been too damn hot and sunny here. I don't have a chance and I don't usually like to take it to uh, even a no-touch car wash because I'm just weary on the cab lights with the high pressure. But I have done it, and they're, they've been fine, so just want to throw that out there. Uh, no issues with the dash. Uh, I know Ford, and I believe Ram did for a while, a couple years ago. The dash would warp. Uh, I've had no issues with the GMC with that. No issues with the screen. Nothing. I've had no issues with anything inside this truck. Um... Everything still looks brand new. I mean, I'm just, I'm happy with it. I really am. Still, if you're on the fence, just get it. Uh, those that have been following along know that I had a, a couple Fords. One of them, obviously a big part of this channel, made the channel, uh, was the F-150 build I did. And I love that truck. Then swapped over to a Ram limited that was i believe 22 21 one of those years and i love the truck it was eco diesel i was trying to save some money this was before covid uh well no because it was, it was before the prices went crazy from covid uh because the used car prices went super high but the new car prices didn't go super high yet so i got Great deal. Eco Diesel saved some money on gas and then everything went to shit. Diesel, because here in Oklahoma at least, diesel was only, uh, at one point it was like five or 10 cents cheaper than gas, 87 gas by the way. Um, then at the highest before I uh, really got crazy, it was like 20 cents, 30 cents higher. And with the mileage, I mean, you can't beat it. Uh, but then it skyrocketed, right? Dollar fifty-ish more than gas. Yeah, that's not cost-effective anymore. So, trade that in and got this. This is, um, I'd still pick this over the any Ford or Ram, one fifty or fifteen hundred wise. Uh, as soon as you start talking into Super Duties, that's a different. That's a different ballgame. But anyway, so everything's great. Everything's perfect. Everything works as it should. Uh, even the massaging seats, which I mean, they could be, they could have done a lot better on the massaging seats, in my opinion. I no issues with them, but they're weak in my, they, they need to be a little stronger, but whatever. I'm just, you know, first world problems, I guess, on that aspect. The one problem I've had with this truck is the mirrors. So, well, mirror, 
It's only on the driver's side, not passenger side. And it's after I reverse. So, and I know I could turn it off, but I don't want to. So if you go in your settings, you should know if you already have the truck, you can have the mirror, the mirrors tilt downward so you can see better backing up where your tires are, of course. I have mine like that. I, I like that feature, but what started out as every once in a while after I would reverse, it would, the mirrors would not tilt back up. I would have to push the memory seat button because it obviously memory seated mirrors are included in that and they would go back up to where I want them. Now, probably about a month, two months ago, it's, they started doing it every single time now. So I'm going to have to, I going to take it to the dealership. I have not yet because it wasn't that big of a deal. I can push a button, but now every single time it is annoying. I go to look at my mirror. Oh, I can't see because it's still tilted down. So that is something, but I'm sure it's just some loose wire or something like that. But of course covered under warranty. So that's, who's going to take care of it. Uh, what else can I go through? The seats are still comfy as hell. You don't look, they still look brand new because I detail them. I take care of them. I clean them, put conditioner on them, even the driver's seat. So what, you can see the, little, the wrinkle right there, but that's only in the sun. Can't see it just standing here. Or I guess the camera can't see it just standing here. Rear, same thing. Still brand new, right? Now, one thing that did piss me off that is makes it not look brand new, right there, my fault. So like I said, we took a trip back home when I wrecked the truck and coming back, we brought a lot back. Um, absolutely filled the bed and threw some stuff right here on the passenger side. Well, something ended up scraping as either my wife or I, either one, leaned the seat back to go to sleep on the drive. So it scratched the shit out of the leather right there. That's the only issue that I have, my own fault. Not a problem with the truck. Um, it was a corner piece of wood. So, I mean, it, it's not like it was something silly and soft that scratched it. Uh, I will so, oh, forgot about the running boards actually as a mod. Rough country running board, so I'm, I'm telling you what. You guys are great in the comments on this, uh, these running boards. When I bought them, apparently there was a discrepancy on between the instructions and the website and all of that like i said 330 pounds per side okay is what i said in the video because that's what the damn website on rough country said they have since updated it i don't know if they updated the boards or they just updated their site because they had they put the wrong number down either way that's what it said i'm fully aware that it now says 660 okay thank you i appreciate you guys' feedback but they're still running great. I have no issues with lights, magnets, boards themselves. Um, I, I have no complaints. I'd buy them again, actually. Um, I was a little rough country to me. I'm not one of those, but oh, rough country's garbage. You guys know that I have rough country products on the Ford. I had it on, I have now have it on this. I have no issues with them. They have come a long way from their bad days, quote unquote, but they are still a cheaper brand, right? So you never know. Nope, I'd buy them again. As you, I mean, they just went back up, right? You can see that they still work perfectly. Let's see. Well, uh, which I have not done that little uh, warranty sh shit, not warranty. Recall for the lights. Yeah, I haven't done that because I don't want them. I like having the daytime running light on when my headlights are on. Why can all these other vehicles have them on, but the GMC can't? That's stupid. Um, I, there, there's nothing else. Um, I will, oh, tint. Forgot about the tint mod. Uh, if I were you, I would not do 5% limo on the sides. I would not do that. That's what caused the accident in the first place because I couldn't see out the goddamn window in the dark in the middle of nowhere. So, but hope that answered all you guys' questions. You enjoyed the review. Um, I know I said this is a 22, but at least up until 24, all the 1500, well, all the 1500 AT4Xs are the exact same unless you get the AEV which then changes a couple of things. The bumpers, I can't remember if the 1500 has like the AEV embroidered in the seats or not. I've been keeping up with that because I don't care. I don't like the AEV in the 1500s. I do in the 2500s, oddly enough, though. 
but there's no difference. So 22, 23, and if you have a regular 24, AT4X, I mean, non-AEV edition, it's, everything's the exact same. So enjoy the videos, and we'll see you all next time.